Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another memory planning spread in my personal wide ring bound planner. And this week I'm going to be using this kit by Regina Laughs. It's called Spring Blooms and it might still be available in her shop. It's just a really pretty springy kit and it's a nice format. I'm excited to try it out. Um, I don't think that I've done a spread using one of her kits yet. No. Um, but they're really pretty and she's got really nice paper. And I decided to go for this kit because this was the first week of spring. Spring started one of these days. <laughs> it's definitely in my pre-planning notes. I just don't know right now. Um, and I also had this week off. I took spring break off um, for myself. So that was really nice. I was at home and it was just so lovely to be at home. I love being in my house. So um, I guess that's about it in terms of the intro. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the pages, wipe my stuff out like usual, and we can get started with the planning. Okay, so I just went ahead and whited everything out, and I'm going to start off by putting down my date covers. I have these pretty simple ones from Rose Colored Days, although now I don't remember the actual dates of the week that I'm planning. Let me just take a look at my planner right here. Okay, this is the... 18th to the 24th so yeah I have these right here I'm gonna be doing rose gold with this spread so I don't do rose gold as often as I do other foils so I have a lot of it it was super easy to find these date covers um, but yeah let's see this week was super chill I kind of just I love staying home it's like my favorite thing ever so I just stayed home the whole first half of the week and I didn't leave my house until Thursday. I was home from Sunday to Thursday and it was just so fantastic. I just, are you guys like that? Are you homebodies? Do you like to go out? I mean, I'll go to like the store. I mean, you know, I live in a city so we have like corner stores, bodegas. So I'll go and like run an errand or go to the dollar store or something, but that's about it to be honest. I went to the supermarket because I needed to buy some groceries, but if I don't have to leave my house, I don't want to. I should pick up some more of these date covers in gold though because they're just so simple and go with everything. Okay, so next let's do the headers. I really like this kit format. It's super simple, but my favorite part is that she does include a set of pattern headers. So I'm just going to be using these. I don't think that I'm going to put an overlay or anything on them. I kind of just want to keep them simple. Maybe I'll put an overlay. Now I'm thinking about it. But I love pattern headers so much. Shop owners out there, please give me some more pattern headers. And I thought that these colors were really pretty and unique. I feel like the peaches and yellows are pretty summery, but since they're nice and pastel, they work nicely for spring. And I have some pretty stickers in these color schemes. So it's fun to try out like a new, a new set of colors that I don't use that often. Okay, so... There are the headers and the date covers. Let's move into the washi. This is probably one of my favorite parts about this kit. It is so cute. It's this adorable picket fence washi. And it's just really, really cute. So I'm going to put it down here. Like I usually do. Try to keep it straight. Which I usually never do. Okay. And then... We also have this really pretty floral scallop washi that goes with the header, so I do want to use that, but I think that I'm going to try sticking in a strip of bows in between. I know that it's a lot, but if you guys have seen me do these spreads before, I kind of do a little bit more in this area to take up some more space. I also do apologize if you can hear a bit of a background noise. My dad, so like, my room is close to the living room, and years and years ago, before I even knew what planning was, my dad took one of my closets, very literally, he 
adopted it for himself and it's like a closet that faces outdoors towards like the living room it faces out towards the living room and what he does what he did is that he made a fish tank go in the wall and so it's like in the wall so if you're in the living room it looks like a photo frame of just like a fish tank with like moving fish inside of it which is very pretty but it also means that I have a fish tank in my closet <laughs> and it's like a big fish tank so it's really legit which is great but it also has like a filter and all these different things and it's always really loud and usually I just turn it off but I feel kind of bad because I think that that might be hurting the fish I mean they've made it so far but I feel kind of bad about it so I'm trying to not do that and he just got a new one that's a little bit quieter I think so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that it'll work out and you guys don't hear it too much maybe it'll be kind of just like white noise in the background um, and then let's do one of these okay a little bit of everything I did take out this full box with the quote it's really pretty it's a spring ads new life and new booty not new booty new beauty to all that is um, it's pretty but I want to use a foiled quote and some overlays so I'm just going to skip out on that one, and I only need seven for these inserts anyway. And her paper is really nice. It feels like two little bees, like that premium matte style. Not premium matte, but like HD matte. Like it's not buttery, but the printing is beautiful. So that's really good. Okay, I love when I wrap up sheets. It's so satisfying. All right, so let's do the overlays now. So I have these from Rose Colored Days. You guys have seen me. I think I used one just last week as well, or my last um, set, my last week. So I'm thinking, I did just breathe last week, but I kind of want to do it again. I kind of want to do it again, just because I feel like the flower is so perfect for spring so I'm gonna put it right here over that pretty little like doily box I think that that's really cute and then I have four overlays here these are from Simply Beautiful Plants and they actually are designed by Regina Laugh so it's really pretty like that let's see but I only have four so I kind of want to disperse them equally So I might do the girl here, and then I was thinking of doing this wheelbarrow. And that actually lines up perfectly because it's hard to tell, but there was another bow underneath that's like the same bow, because it's like the Regina Laugh signature bow, I think. So. Yes, let's see. For this little mailbox, I have these bow overlays from Rose Colored Day, so I'll just do that to add a little bit of foil. And let's see over here. I'll just do another one right here. Then let's see. I'm going to put the other two on the florals. So I'll do this one like this, like the raining one. This is why I like to buy like four or two sets of four whenever I do overlays, but this will work. This is good enough. Okay, that's pretty. Every full box has at least a tiny bit of foil. So that is good enough for me and another sheet gone. Okay, so that's it in terms of the full boxes and the little setup. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and then we can get started on the day by day. Okay, so this week is going to be a little bit different because as I said, I didn't have any work this week. I took the whole week off, which was fabulous, but I also 
you know, have less to mark. I don't have any work scripts to put down or anything like that. Oh, I forgot to show this, but the kit also came with glitter headers, but I'm not really going to be using them today. But, okay, I did still get, like, a good amount of stuff done this week. So first, on Monday, I'm going to mark sleeping in. So I'll do that with one of these little sleeping masks from Tassel Planner. I'm going to take this, like, buttery yellow color. I love yellow, so you guys know I'm very happy with this spread. And then I uploaded a video. This week, I think I uploaded a good amount of videos. Actually, let me move this over to the other side. Okay. Okay. And to mark my videos, I have some of these leftover little things from Scribble Prints Co. This is a peachy shade that I thought worked pretty well. So there's that. And I have these gorgeous buttery yellow, like butterscotch yellow. I don't like saying buttery yellow because, like, I don't want butter in my planner, but a really pretty yellow. These are really old, um, from like two autumns ago, I think, because it was like an autumn color scheme, but the yellow is super pretty. And then on this day, I worked on my D stash. So if you guys remember, or if you follow me on Instagram, I did a big D stash of a lot of stuff. I don't like to hold on to things if I'm not going to use them. So... I had a lot of things to clear out. To mark my D stash, I pulled some stuff. This is a little book from Amazon, if you're wondering. And I like to use this to keep like my little leftovers and extra stickers. Let's see, I think I wanted to use some bow clips. It is kind of a mess, though. I need to organize these a little bit better. Okay. I think these will match. These are from Crafts by Towie. Do they match? I also have these from My Newest Addiction. These two. Well, they're two different ones, but I actually feel like the floral is exactly the same as the floral in the kit. So I'm going to use one to mark the D stash over here. And then I worked on my planner setup. If I'm pretty sure that I uploaded a, a personal wide rings planner setup, so I'm going to use a half box here for that. I actually think that I might have had the whole thing uploaded by then because I literally sat down and I managed to get the whole thing done at once. Oh, this planner is really perfect. These are from Toffee Bananas and this one's kind of like a peachy shade with a little flower, so that's perfect. And then at the end of the day, I watched Jumanji number two. It's like the one with Kevin Hart in The Rock. And I am so weirdly obsessed with that movie. I actually watched it twice this week. Like, what is wrong with me? It's so weird. I just really like it, I guess. It's it's kind of odd. I know. Um, yeah, I have no other words to describe it. I kind of want to layer it over something but I don't really have anything to layer over, so I guess I'll just keep it in the white space there. Those are from Paper Muse Craft little popcorn stickers. So that is my Monday. Very chill. I loved it. It was wonderful. So to mark, to fill out my week, I've got this pen here. It's from a Happy Scrap B sub box, like the cherry blossom one. It's actually pretty, and it kind of matches with the peach flowers as well, so be right back. Okay, so there's how it looks. I did add some little fold bows from Simply Watercolor Co. to the picket fence. It had little hearts on those, so I figured, let's spoil it with some bows. Okay, so on to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I actually, like, did the D-stash. I'd sold the stuff online. So I'm going to take another half box to mark that up here. Maybe, yeah, no, it's okay. I was thinking of using a patterned one, but I might as well just use the regular one. And to mark that, I pulled out this little laptop from Very Jenny Co. These are super old, but I do like them when I can pull them in. And there is one right here that has a very cute little peachy floral pattern. I'm just going to white out the little heart. I love using white out on stickers. <laughs> it's so fun, and I can just turn it into anything that I want. And instead, we're going to add a little bow right there just to foil it up okay so that was the d stash then i filmed i had another video go up 
and I took a bath. So maybe we'll just kind of vary where I put things. I'm going to put this video down here with another one of my hearts. To be fair, I slept in every single day, but I'm just going to mark it on certain days. Um, so there's my video. Then from my bath, let's see. Maybe I'll take... Let's do a pink quarter box or a darker... Oh, we have these little scallops. I'll take this little scallop right here. And I also have a leftover sticker. I've got these bathtubs. They're not quite little, though. From Simply Watercolor Co. It's kind of big, but it's a good color. Filming and then another movie. So for filming, I've got some stickers from Tasseled Planner, these little cameras. And I'm just going to go for that same yellowy shade. Might as well. And then to mark another movie, I think this day I just watched um, The Proposal. That old Sandra Bullock movie, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. It was good. It was okay. I figured out how to log on to Stars Online, so I just found movies that were there. And I'm pretty sure this is the second day that I watched Jumanji. So I'm just going to take another little popcorn sticker from Paper Muse Crafts over that washi strip. And that was my Tuesday. So Wednesday was the first day of spring. And I'm going to mark that with this yellow flag from Clever Gal Crafts. I only have one left, so I figured might as well use it. And it's that same color scheme that's very, very old. So I'm going to put that down, but I thought that maybe I'd put a little deco with it. Maybe this flower here or something. Mm. Or maybe this flower here. I'm a little limited. That's cute, and maybe, I mean, I can't hand letter, I've, I've learned that over time. I gave up on that. But I'll try to write Hello Spring or something, because I did Rose Gold the same week in my Erin Condren, so I only have one, I don't have any more of the Hello Springs from Rose Colored Days left, because I used it. So, let's see, I put up another video, and my uncle went back to Puerto Rico. Apparently I did laundry, but I don't trust it. Okay, so to mark my uncle going back to Puerto Rico, I'm just going to take this quarter box that I had stuck on my hand with these little plane tickets from Magic Prince Co. in rose gold. Then, let's see, I'm going to do maybe my video once again. So I'm going to put that here, just try to space everything out. And then I said laundry and packing my D-stash. So I'm going to take a half box. Let's do the peachy floral right here and I brought out this sticker sheet here from paper blush bar that has little male stickers I'm trying to see I think I'm just gonna go for this little box here that says package it's gray but I thought that it kind of matched like the wood grain and stuff like that because it's very gray so it says package right there that works really well and then this supposed laundry that I did, although I don't trust myself for one second. I'm going to do, maybe I, yeah, I'm just going to put it down because might as well. This little laundry machine or washing machine is from Magic Prince Co. And that's going to be for my laundry on Wednesday and that's all that I have written down. So let me fill it out. Okay, so this is how we're looking for the first half of the week. I love it. I think that it's really pretty and I'm just so happy that I had so much in my collection that worked so well. On to Thursday. So Thursday was going to be, well it was like my day with Jade. We decided to hang out and she actually had a last minute job interview come up 
but we had planned so and interviews you know don't, don't usually take that long so I kind of just tagged along with her <laughs> it was in the city so I'm just gonna mark the interview I, I've got another one of those same bow clips from my newest addiction and I think I'm just gonna put it over another scallop here these are so cute it's a different shape but it's the same print and I'm like so certain that it's the same as the kit artwork so it works out really well so while she was doing her interview thing I went to Starbucks and I also did a little bit of shopping at H&M so I'm gonna mark the shopping with a shopping bag from tasseled planner and then I'm gonna mark the coffee with also something from tasseled planner she just makes the best foil stickers um, I'm gonna take let's do this yellowy shade here and maybe I'll kind of just like offset the two so I'm gonna take a yellowy coffee cup there and then maybe a peachy pink shopping bag down here. And then I'll just write Starbucks and H&M. And it was good. The interview didn't take too long. And then we went to the spa, which was really, really fun. Um, the only thing is Manhattan, just it just did not want us to go. We went to a spa in New Jersey. And it was great. But it was like we were kind of stuck in the city for a while. Because it just did not want us to get out. So, I'm actually just going to put another half box down to mark that. What did I pull for the spa? Oh, so I have this little spa sticker f that was in a freebie from, what's it called, Caress Press. And it's like a little bathrobe. But I'm just going to cut off the text that says spa day. Just because I feel like I'd rather write it myself. So, my scissors... I'm going to pull out the teeny tinies for this, and it was really fun. It was, if you're interested and you live in New York or something, or New Jersey, like um, North Jersey, East New York sort of area, I think that's what they call it. Even though New Jersey's right there, I hardly know anything about it. Even though Brooklyn's right there, I hardly know anything about it. I, I think that's just what happens when you're from the Bronx. Um... Anyway, I digress. We, it was like, it's called Sojo, I believe. And basically, you just pay like a flat fee for the day. And that bow is kind of big, but it's going to work. You, put, you pay a flat fee for the day. And you go and you kind of just have access to their facilities. They have um, saunas and cool rooms and pools and like lounge areas it's really nice I think it was about fifty dollars and we got access to like a bunch of different saunas and stuff like that if you want to do like an actual spa package like massage or um, a facial or something you do have to go and pay extra for it but I felt like it was a good price and it was really nice to go into the saunas and stuff like that so yeah and the pools were nice especially because they were all really warm even though it was like a really cold day it was cold and rainy and we actually got there pretty late we weren't in traffic for like two and a half hours it was so bad just driving around Manhattan trying to figure out the different ways to get into New Jersey but we made it and we actually had a really really good time it was nice so again that spotty sticker is from caress press it came on a freebie that i just got and i just put a little bow over the flower there and then after that we went to fridays <laughs> tj fridays and we got some food so because in college that was like our favorite place to go we would go there all the time so we kind of went there because it was late and it was the only place that was open but also for that sentimental value so it was a very fun relaxing day so i'm just going to go ahead and fill it out now before we move on to friday so on Friday, Steve also took the day off so that we could spend some time together. And we ended up going to the movies and we watched Captain Marvel, which was really, really good. We like Avengers movies and Marvel movies and DC movies, but um, Marvel movies are really ex exciting, especially because of the Avengers movie coming up. Sorry, I ordered a quesadilla and I'm trying to figure out where it is. Because it said that it should be here in nine minutes, but it has not left that restaurant. Um, so we went to go see Captain Marvel, and it was very good. 
I really enjoyed it. Brie Larson was a badass. So I don't really have, like, I guess this is a movie sticker. These are from Simply Watercolor Co. I kind of just wanted to put a little bit of deco over it to kind of make it a little bit more fun, but I might move it down a little bit more. Just because it felt kind of plain just to have it as like this ticket style, but I guess that works. Okay, maybe this little flower here? I, did, I don't know, I just want to kind of spruce it up a bit. Okay. So I watched Captain Marvel and then I had to go to the post office to drop off my orders. So I think I'm just going to use another one of these same stickers from Paper Blush Bar. And I'm going to put this one here that says send package. And I'll just leave that in the white space. And then I didn't really have anything else going on. So I might just take some washi to fill up this area because then we just went to dinner. Um, I don't even know if we went to dinner, if we just had dinner at his house. But I'm just going to take a little half box here with a meal sticker from Sticky Sloth Designs to mark that. And in this space, I have this... Picket fence washi, which is pretty cute. I also just have regular washi, and I've got this picket fence deco. Maybe I'll do this deco. That's pretty cute. And it's like the exact width of the column. And I'm just going to put another little bow in that space there. Maybe I'll put a little heart where it has a little heart. I don't know if you can tell because it's super subtle, but right there, just to give it that foil. Okay, and that was Friday. So Saturday was a good day. I didn't do too much. Steve and I went to the mall. I kind of wanted to buy some new sneakers and just kind of look around. And I did actually didn't find anything that I wanted, but it was a nice trip to the mall. So I'm just going to take another one of those shopping bag stickers if I could find them here we are and I think that I'm going to take the light yellowy buttery sort of shade there I go with the butter again um, right there we went to the Garden State Mall in New Jersey which is a nice mall they have a lot of stuff um, so we looked around and then we just kind of Netflixed and chilled it was not a very busy day at all um, Let's see, I might just layer some of this washi. Probably took a nap. And I have these little scripts from Paper Blush Bar. I'm going to use the Lazy Day one with the bed to mark that. Then we had some dinner and I filmed. Um, okay, so I'm going to mark filming down here at the bottom, I'm going to take a peachy camera from Tassel Planner right there. And then for dinner, let's do another quarter box here. Maybe I'll try to find another one because I'll just use one of these rose gold ones. They were literally right in front of me because this is the same shade of peach that the camera is. So I'm just going to put this one here. And since it was sushi, I get to use my very exciting sushi stickers from Tasseled Planner. I love when I get to use these. And like I said, I think I mentioned it recently, we've just been getting a lot of sushi lately. We figured out that if we sit at the bar in our favorite sushi restaurant, we get our food very quickly. And it's just been a wonderful experience. Um, so I'm just going to put down this clear sort of like faux bow washi sticker. It's from Simply Watercolor Co. and it came on this little sampler and I've always wanted to use it. And since I don't have anything else to mark in that area, that's what I'm gonna do. So that was Saturday. Okay, so now on to Sunday. 
first things first, I uploaded my Plan With Me video, so I'm just going to mark it the same way with my heart. And then I think this day I was just feeling like super generous, so I just bought dinner for my whole family. And yeah, I don't know, I just, I felt like sharing. So we all had dinner together. Um, and then I wanted to mark that I fell asleep early. I did my best to fall asleep early because I knew that Monday was going to be my first day back to work. So I had to prepare myself after a whole week off. It was such a beautiful time, but what can you do? Um, so I'm going to put the dinner in a half box there. I'm just going to put another one of the utensil stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs. And then the other thing that I have marked is laundry. So I'm just going to take this same quarter box that's just been hanging out on my hand. And I'm going to just use another one of the laundry stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs here. And that's actually all that I did on Sunday, to be honest. So maybe now I'll try putting... I pick it fence washy. I guess so. Yeah, that's probably my best bet. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. And I'm just going to put it right here. If I had another lazy day script, I would use it, but I don't think that I do. But in any case, that was Sunday, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it out, and then I'm going to pop my inserts back into my planner, and then we can wrap up the whole video. Okay, you guys, so this is how the spread turned out in my planner. I really love it. I think that it's fun to use these colors that I don't get to use too often, and I think that they look so pretty with the rose gold. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Please let me know what you think. And until the next one, I've got my food to pick up because it is on its way, but we will chat really soon. Take care. Bye, guys.